making a statement that Nintendo is the one kind of like helming the options there. Like I yeah. said, I wouldn't be surprised if we got Travis because there's been a lot of No More Heroes support on the Switch. There's been a game, and they've announced No More Heroes 3 was going to come out on the Switch. So, so let's go into game one here, Jump Steady versus Zenio. I mean, Master Mario at Worlds Collide. I mean, MSM. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's a bit of an inside joke for, for a couple of people wondering. <laughs> um, an inside joke from the 818. But anyways, speaking of the devil, it is going to be, yes, Master Mario versus Jump Steady. Uh, we could use a fireball, bait out Jump Steady to come out of the shield, and then proceed to get the classic Mario up air follow-up. Yeah, if you watch Mar Master Mario, you're going to see that many, many times. Yeah, the one thing that's separate. So <laughs> you guys obviously saw this past weekend how the buzz was able to be Dark Lizzy and use back air. We did see Jump Steady a little bit demonstrate how good back piloting the back air is. I get to put on like Falcon right where he Oh no, no. He missed the ledge. Yeah he did. It's too bad. But catches that dash there. Mario's up high. He'll land with the back air. Down throw. Down nice. Throw. He doesn't set up for our back air. I feel like he wanted a different follow up, but I kinda saw the reverse aerial rush kinda coming out a little bit. Good use of down tilt, nice. Keep stage control here. This is either going to be a really good opportunity for him to go for an empty hop or a back air. Sets it up for the high one, but Master Mario lands safely. That he does, and he's gonna get so many grabs. I mean, that's really where this character just starts to take off. When Mario gets that one grab and then you're forced to land again against him, it can be so hard because mm -hmm. he just gets he gets another grab and then you're at like 70 and then he gets another grab maybe and you're almost dead, like just from one opening. Nice, really good use of, uh, of going for like a full hop from Master Mario because he kind of tried to beat out Jump City's like, grab and he, he's able to get away from it the problem was he was still in Jump City's range. This is kind of a small narrow loop out of 35%, moving on to 44. Yeah, Master would love to go for those S-Mashes. That was tough DI, sorry. When you're just in, in neutral. Uh, so I'm not surprised that Jump Steady kind of sniffed it out there and got behind him, got that back air. Okay, yeah, down tilts, pressuring Master nice. at the ledge. Oh, and I like it too. Goes for. I talked about how letting go of ledge can be sometimes important to fake out your opponent to be an option from the ledge, right? He goes for that to come back with an air. Good parry and good use of an air. Go for the forward air. Explosive flame to read the landing too. Jump Steady is making plays here, ladies and gentlemen. He's getting a lot of these reads with the explosive flame. He said, like, look, that one, he said, you know what, if the buzz can beat out Mario's, so can I. Nice. Uh oh, this is going to be really bad for Jump Steady. Yeah, watch the landing here. Unfortunately, he picked center stage, and that's where Master Mario was going to anticipate. Nice empty hop. Okay, no, yeah, no that grab. that smash again. Oh, yeah. Once okay. again from the ledge, he reads that, that out. It's just like an awkwardly placed one. It was really hard for Master to deal with it. Yeah. I didn't talk about how wide, wide Jump Steady goes for that at the ledge. There. Oh, no up air. I like that. Master he gets the... Oh, that was so close. Yeah, that was really Oh, nice. he didn't up smash there. That's the one thing that Master kind of doesn't really do too much. Up smash. Sometimes he reserves it for those really high commitment options. If he knows his opponent is indefinitely going to go for the obvious option. Yeah, I think he could have reacted to that, but it was... Uh, it was tricky. It was close. Nice. Oh, he tried to go for a forward air. Watch the recovery. Yeah. Uh, he went for throw. the roll, get a back throw. If he DIs that right, he'll be yeah. fine. No. I feel like he did DI crawl properly, but I guess it was going to kill that percent, especially being a the ledge. Yeah, that's something you, you could never be sure in this game because rage is still a factor. Yeah, correct. And, you know, he didn't. Where did they? Where did he get the grab on stage? You know, what's the the exact percent. Rage is still a lot of factors. Yeah, rage is a factor. Not only the fact that rage is a factor, but it's also really important to understand that, like, because rage is a factor and it's been nerfed since its match for duration, it, it, I think it's like 33%, 33.3% less than what it used to be. Here's the Zero Suit Samus. This is more of, I feel like, a matchup we might see Master Mario pull out more up smashes because of ZSS's ability to use things like Zara and Nair and Flip Kick. So this is one where we might see up smash to punish those landings a little bit more. But we'll also see Jump City try to space out Master Mario here. This is kind of a matchup I would have still loved to have seen Jump City stick to Palu, but we'll see how it plays out in the end. I kind of talked about, I talked to Jump City a little bit earlier today. He talked about how, like, 
what characters need Smash Stick, right? And I told him, like, I feel like Pop, um, ZSS needs Smash Stick indefinitely. But he says, you know what? Um, Zero Suit Samus, her tilts are pretty good all, all across the board. So having access to tilts either way over Smash Stick is still good. Compared to Smash 4, where you would get down Smash Paralyzer and it confirms. Yeah. This game, it's not as prominent. Let's use the space there. Here, I talked about how those tilts are really important. Therefore, tilt immediately right after. Reads the high, pushes Master Mario to the low. Yeah, forces to get up there, but Master Mario times it perfectly to get the attack. Nice, forward air. Yeah, Looking for the back air. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the one thing that Jump City kind of has a little bit more over Palatine is the speed to contest with his opponents to be at the right spot at the right time. Versus Pagotina, who, even though the character is really great with, you know, solid speed and solid weight, like, ZSS is just indefinitely faster. Yeah, that back air that ZSS has is so fast. Mm -hmm. It's the Nair here. It's oh. a great kill option. Zare was in space there, and, but the, also the parry. You, you, have, you have to kind of, like, really watch out when you go when your opponent parries you, because that's when you need to mix it up with the time. I talked about how Ob Smash was being one of those more prominent options for Mario in this matchup. Mass Mario refuses to take the free up smash, but he will react to his opponent dropping shield with up smash, so go figure. Alrighty. Yeah, the Nair is also a good tool in this matchup or that from a Space DSS. Smash? Ooh, that was good too, and he's able to get the, the, the pivot grab. Master Mario in a little bit of a trouble. Goes for down smash because he reads the commitment from the oh. jump. What a call out. Master Mario expected to, to come out there. With, he threw out that forward air, but ZSS is just so fast. Mm -hmm. He didn't uh, get to him in time. This is a bit of a changeup too, because last time I see, saw Jump City play against Master Mario, he was really struggling here, and I feel like Jump City went back to watch his buttons. Yeah, but like I was saying, Nair is a great tool in this matchup just because it's disjointed and it can beat a lot of Mario's options if he tries to approach you. Spot dodge to avoid getting the grab. The yeah, out, right that was good, that was there. good, that was good. He was able to go for Nair and still survive off that one. But this lets us know that Master Mario is expecting a lot of more of those aerials like Zara and Nair now. He's extra cautious, especially if he's, a, if he's pairing against one. Gem City gets oh, the gets down smash. That won't yeah. kill because it's going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. But the fact that the down smash paralyzer has a little bit of a back hit box behind CSS is still really good for Jump City to use. And he goes it because it's going to force uh, Master Mario to watch out for normal get up the ledge and the roll get up. Side beat kills at the ledge here at the high percent. Jump City comes back to the board here. 1 1 apiece. You don't set up into that. There's that frame one jab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That frame one jab. I feel, yeah, ZSS is very good at escaping situations where you think you have her dead to rights. That, that um, down B, the yeah. flip kip, great move in disadvantage. Uh, her ability to, to just kind of get out of combos that are on the ground because of that jab also you know, can save her a lot. Mm hmm. Uh, and she needs it because she's so light. Yeah. But very a very slippery character. I mean, when you play with ZSS, you're going to see them jump around all all day long. Oh, well, this time, speaking of jumping around here, Master Mario with the first jump around with Jump State with a fireball confirmed into a grab. Jump State playing a little bit defensive, trying to get space out those nares to kind of open up Master Mario. Oh, crosses him up unintentionally. Yeah, I think that the, the Zare nerf uh, really hurt this character. Just having that extra option to punish your player, the opponent. Oh, he's got to watch himself from getting picked up by those up -rise, especially attempting to go for the platforms. Like it's still good, but it's not as good. <laughs> nice. Yeah, We're going to whip punish Massa for overextending here. Good parry. No back air. For the parry from Master Mario. This is kind of going into a game of parries here because Master Mario knows if Jump City does get the Nair or the Zare on the sh on Master Mario, he can definitely call him out afterwards. Okay. Yeah, Master Mario heard what I said about Nair and neutral and he said, no, let me show you. You parry this move. Nice. Watch him for the landing here. Roll. Unfortunately, pick the roll, get up and just. That was really good because Master Mario telegraphed the back air to force Jim City to go for the roll get up, but because he fast followed it, he was able to go there and be for a grab. Oh god, this man trying to go for a grab on the shield. Going for grabs on the shield is really tough in this game, man. You get the three frames of shield drop that can definitely make the move a little bit laggier. Got him with the last hit of the air there. 
That was good, that was good. Tie it up a little bit by 90%. You put Mario off the stage as well. Solid option for Jump Steady. I like it. Spacing himself and winning the patient neutral here to understand what Master Mario is going to go for the getup. And he wasn't at the ledge too, so he was able to space out things like Zara or Nair or the back air. Oh, okay. Air dodge is in place, so there isn't as much lag. Okay, and up no, he's B. Good, he's good. With the side B. Oh, uh, he tries to catch him air dodging in. And that was good too because we did see him uh, air dodging in, but unfortunately, Jump City was just not that close. Uh, Trying to go for a get up attack. This is a tough one. Master Mario has adjusted, but I also feel the stage of Battlefield is going to help that Master Mario. 116, three stocks fresh in the mind, still freshly baked. Jump City down to his last stock of the day, especially winner's quarters. I'm seeing a lot of aerials here, but I'm not seeing an empty hop grab. That's kind of one of those things I really want to see from Jump Steady too, especially trying to come into those. Because Master Mario has really shielded him, and he's waiting for the parry, because he's been so used to Nair and Zare now. Yeah, but also Jump Steady's just been kind of jumping around, just not really doing much. I'm expecting Master Mario to just get impatient and run right in. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking he's going to get something, because... You would think too, so, but you know what? Master Mario has a bit of a lead here, and Jump City commits to a down smash. He's gonna get picked up by a couple up airs. No Missing side air. B. Another weak nair. Not gonna lead in end to anything. Uh, Jump City struggling here. This is tough. Gets nice the delivery. Throw. Yeah. I mean. Nice, trying to sneak in the back air from going for the miss up. grab. Oh. I talked about how up smash is going to be way more prominent in the Zero Suit matchup than the Palatine match with Master Mario. 